Okay, so what we got here are a couple of just regular spare ribs with the skirt still on there. And I'm going to put a mustard slather on these. And I'm, today I'm using just regular Heinz yellow mustard. And when I do a mustard slather, I just put a lot of yellow mustard. Sometimes I use French's, sometimes I use Heinz. And I will then put the rub on after I put the mustard slather on. Now the purpose of this that I'm doing today is just making this video because I came up with a new sauce recipe and I wanted to just make some ribs. See, I, right now I have this long extra skirt on. I'll cut that off after I smoke. Uh, a lot of times if I was, you know, doing this... Uh, a lot of times if I was doing this for competition or something, I would have that already cut off. And we also have this skirt here on. So, I've already removed the membrane from the back. Okay, so we're going to use our just standard spicy rub here. And I'm going to have Mun sprinkle the rub on. Go ahead, just sprinkle it on there a little bit more than that. Do it pretty good. This is my standard spicy rub that I use uh, on ribs a lot. We also use it on wings as well. Okay, put it a little thicker on there. That's okay. Go ahead, quickly. We're not making an epic movie here. A little more down here. And right there. Yeah, but I need them. Okay, so now we're going to place them in the smoker up closer to the hot end. Okay, so we're putting the first coating of sauce on the ribs. Because it's not a high sugar content sauce, we'll be able to cook with it for a long time without it turning super black and getting overly burnt, essentially. To flip it or just like no. this first. Okay. That's good. And we'll be applying more coats as we go. The idea here is to have a nice, thick, very cooked sauce on the ribs without it turning super black and burnt. So here comes our second rack up. That looks very, very good. Okay, that's good. That's good.
Okay, so here they are. They're out of the smoker. They look good. They've got about three coats of the new barbecue sauce that I'm working on. And it, it looks good. It's exactly what I was trying to accomplish. I wanted something that could cook for a long time on the meat that is going to really stick to the meat, but it's not going to get blackened. And a lot of barbecue sauces have a high sugar content, whether it's brown sugar, white sugar, they have a high sugar content and therefore they tend to get very blackened very easily. So a lot of times you put your barbecue sauce on just like, you know, maybe 20 minutes before you're done cooking, something like that. With this, th this was on here for hours. And about the sauce, the sauce, why I'm trying to create a new sauce, I haven't created a new sauce in many, many years, but I thought it would be nice to try to create uh, something new, something different. Uh, I was going for like a chipotle uh, kind of flavoring, so that's the spice in there is a smoked pepper. Uh, it also has some red pepper in there, and it has, you know, nutmeg and allspice, all that kind of stuff, but it has blueberries. And a lot of people are going to think right away, well, it tastes like a blueberry. And actually, you can taste something fruity in there, and that's what I wanted. I didn't want a blueberry barbecue sauce. I wanted blueberries just to be the subtle part of it. And sometimes when it comes to barbecue sauces or any type of sauce, the, the subtlety is the part that people remember. Sometimes they can't quite put their finger on it, but they just know there's something in there that they really like. So that's what this is going to taste like. It's, it's going to taste like spicy. It's going to be, uh, uh, you know, it's a regular barbecue sauce and I made this from scratch. I actually uh, pureed the tomatoes and, you know, cooked them down and everything like that. But then put the blueberries in there and blueberries are a crop that New Jersey grows and that's what I wanted to make was something that was from New Jersey. And so it would be like authentic New Jersey barbecue. And the subtlety in it is blueberries. So I'm going to hack this up a little bit. I'm actually going to take these off and we'll do some, some sampling. As you can see, it's just kind of falling apart here. So we'll see how it goes. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's delicious. Pixie, get away.